And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Endure. I'm kind of calling this Hecarim Endure kind of because I already have a thumbnail for Hecarim Endure, but this is um, a Maokai, agro, you know, Maokai plus Hecarim um, ephemeral aggro deck. Uh, this is a donation deck, but this was one uh, that uh, the viewer asked me to build a Maokai ephemeral aggro deck from scratch. And worked on it today, and this is where I've ended up. Uh, you may see that I have a lot of one ofs, and that's just because there's a lot of different cards that I want in like in like some some scenarios. I really want a fading memories, a ravenous butcher, a mark of the isles, a sap. You know, like I want these cards in different scenarios, but not all the time. <laughs> so, got a lot of one ofs, and I think that's something that um, is kind of underutilized in general uh, in this game is one ofs. Um, but anyway, we're we're gonna be you know like an ephemeral aggro. We're having all of our stuff die, but then we're we're kind of doing the they who endure thing also with they who endure atrocity because we're gonna have so many things die. Um, we're mostly a shark chariot deck. This is probably our most important card, shark chariot. Um, and so shark chariot's the reason for the fading memories because if we have a shark chariot in play, we can create you know we can do fading memories, make another shark chariot. That would be really nice. That's that's the main reason for the fading memories. Um, we don't. We need to have more things that are ephemeral that can bring back our shark chariot. So we have Oblivious Islander that can either uh, that's, uh, of course, amazing with shark chariot, um, but you know can make something else ephemeral to bring back shark chariot, aka Curse Keeper. That's the other thing that we really want to use with that. Um, then we also have Stirred Spirits. I'm I'm one that I really like Stirred Spirits a lot. I actually like Stirred Spirits more than uh, what's the name of the other card? Soul Shepherd. A lot of people put Soul Shepherd in their ephemeral decks, and it's just fine. But Soul Shepherd's like a like a two three that doesn't you just don't really want Soul Shepherd in combat ever. I like Stirred like Stirred Spirits like you're getting into combat with it. It's a three two. It's gonna trade just fine. Um, but I like how it, it pumps up something all the time. It's it's not reliant on you then having other ephemerals um, and uh, everything. I don't know. I I like Stirred Spirits. And so we can we can just do a lot of cool things with Stirred Spirits, whether it's making a Shark Chariot like a 5-1, uh, if we want to do that, or we can make our Cursed Keeper Ephemeral uh, as like a 3-1 attacker, um, and you know, just, just a bunch of other things. You know, we can make like Oblivious Islanders and Omen Hawks. We can make these things actually hit harder, make this attack, attack for 3, attack for 4, um, and then have them die. But whenever they're attacking as Ephemerals, they're bringing back our Shark Chariots. Um, yeah, yeah, it's got a bucket for a head. Um, which I guess, I guess this is like a play on words, spirits, spirits as in, you know, like soul, you know, ghost spirits and stuff like that. But then also spirits as in like, uh, drinks, you know, like a, like an alcoholic drink spirit. So it's like the play on words there. Uh, but then, you know, we have our Maokais, uh, we're not doing, we're not doing any tossing, but the saplings are again, more ephemerals. And we're going to have a lot of things die. Um, I played a couple of games of this earlier. I did get to level up Maokai um, from just having 25 things die. <laughs> so, like, that that's possible. Um, you know, Hecarim's bringing all the ephemerals. And, yeah, then, you know, you just have They Who Endure also. So, like, this top end of Hecarim and They Who Endure, they hit super hard. All right, enough talking. Let's get to it. Let's play some Hecarim Endure. Let's go to some Shadow Isle stuff. We're mostly all Shadow Isles, just kind of splashing. Now we'll go Gloomtooth. Uh, splashing Freljor because of how good Omen Hawk and They Who Endure are. So let's see how it goes. One card that I. Uh, one card that. Two cards. Two cards that aren't in here that I could see being in here. One is Ruination. Um, you know, like with having so many ephemeral things, you don't always have a lot, a lot of stuff out. Your opponents can have more things out. Uh, it does seem like it could be a good ruination deck. Like maybe the vengeance should be a ruination. Um, another thing could be, I'm just going to look at this too. Another thing is you could have a harrowing at the top end because, because that card's awesome with Hecarim. But I think your top end's already... I think you already have enough top end with Hecarim, They Who Endure, Atrocity, One Rekindler. I don't think you need more top end. 
be nothing left when I'm done. You got legs. Use them. Okay, wasn't really expecting a block, but that's all right. Danger cave. Ah. Figured out the reason for the block. Set the hooks. Twisted Fate's a problem. Because I kind of want to glimpse beyond this 4-4, to be honest, and just draw two cards, and then next turn go Caretaker on this thing and have my two 2-1 two Ephemerals just kill both of these. I don't want to do that, but the problem is Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate red card. Hmm. It's just pretty awkward all over the place. The Isles will bloom again. I should have just attacked for one, because I'm not I'm not really attacking with this Maokai. I should have just attacked for one to start with and then see what they did. You are not hey, what's up, Void Rose? And there's Twisted Fate Red Card. So I'm glad I didn't go for the plan that I was thinking of. All right, Shark Chariot. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. These old eyes still see far and clear. <laughs> Pretty sure they were supposed to just attack first. Or doing anything else. Oh, hello there. Regular. Been here all my afterlife. Another value of coin. I'll buy you some time. It's all in the wrist, see? Hmm. I would love that attack. As Go ahead. Pocket, huh? Got a surprise cool. For enough freeze up room for me that's that's definitely important now we're getting all of our six mana cards maybe too many six mana cards is that a thing oh, man am i just like required to play Am I just required to play a Hecarim? Just because we have too many six mana cards? I kind of want to go Shark Chariot and then Caretaker of the Shark Chariot, make three. Three saplings. We'd have a sapling with a Hecarim anyway. I guess Maokai does some tossing on its own, so I guess we don't have to have all 25 things die. Sure. 
That's fine with me. <clears throat> See, that's pretty nice. Being able to pump up these saplings, these turn spirits. Now I understand if it was the if it was the two three, they actually would have all been pumped up, but it's not always the case. We just have so many things to die. So fast. Yeah, we're playing Hecarim and Dur. I'm just gonna give that ephemeral, bring back bring the shark back. And basically go to combat right away like where I still have atrocity to kill them. In case something happens. Mm, okay, okay. So I can play Maokai. Alright, GG's. You know, each time you, you get like these sharks, these saplings, you just have so much stuff die. They they who endure is even <laughs> even bigger than the spider version. Two huge things at the top end with both Hecarim and They Who Endure. Really hard to stop both of those. Alright, uh, get rid of these and... What if I don't get rid of Hecarim, actually? Wait, what if I don't get rid of either of those? Get rid of Maokai? What if I get rid of nothing? I don't have anything to do turn two or turn three. But we'll have two draws before turn two and three draws before turn three. And we have a ridiculous number. We have 14 two mana cards. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. So I kind of like having like a, an ephemeral Hecarim on turn five because I have, I have the attack token turn five. So that's an important time to be attacking is turn five. And so since since I have the odd number of attack tokens, so like turn five I do, and then turn seven I do, so five and seven for Hecarim and Rekindler. Come on, two drop. Yuck. Well, 14 two drops. Let me down. There we go. This is Mortal Kombat. I call that an atrocitality. This is gonna hurt. Um. So do I go Maokai or do I go double Shark Chariot? You can only gain one life anyway. I go double Shark Chariot. Not gonna be doing any blocking on turn six either. Hmm. So we'd either have a sapling that definitely kills that or two shark chariots. 
We honestly probably need this asset. Unfortunately, we probably need the sapling. Um. Yeah, I could do I could do another donation deck today. This isn't bad with Sapling either if we had the one extra mana. It's not bad with Sapling. Yeah, that's how I, I basically always do it, Wakanda, but, um... I... Yeah, that's how I, I basically always do it, but... Um... Okay. Only taking three. Not too bad. All right, they who endures a six six. Probably should just be playing they who endure. So if I go straight to combat, we're bringing back two sharks. Honestly, not quite good enough. We could bring this Hecarim. Okay, yeah. If you'd rather, if you'd rather me play that list, Wakanda, on Monday, I will do that. So my problem here, the problem with attacking with Hecarim is they get to kill Hecarim, and then we don't get the we don't get the bonuses, we don't get the the plus three plus zero bonus. Um. What could they they could block? Okay, so let's see. If we do this, they're just dead, right? They block there, block there, take. Uh, seven. Yeah, I think they're dead. Yeah, I mean, they are dead if they don't have removal. Two blocks won't save them. Oh, yeah, they will. Ah, and they had Withering Whale. Well, that makes things worse. No, it was only 13, not 15. I counted 15, it was 13. Because basically, as soon as Hecarim dies, then, then the other things don't have the bonus anymore.
Alright, well they have to have atrocity. Otherwise they're dead. I'm pretty sure they're dead. They could just have vengeance. I'm just worried. I'm. Uh, should I be worried about ruination? All right, so first game we had atrocity, we won. Second game, opponent had atrocity, they won. That would have been a good card for us to have, also. But no atrocity for us. I would have had to use it like uh, my six power thing. Or like, you know, I would have had to just kill their their thing. I couldn't do 18 to them with an atrocity. This is just kind of the dream. Do we have two three one sharks? Or like. Does Fading Memory copy mana cost? Like, do I get to play a 1 mana 3 1 shark next turn and then another 1 mana 3 1 shark? Because I sure hope so. That was kind of my ideal scenario whenever I was putting this together, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Like, I, I just don't know if it's going to work out like this, but I sure hope we get another shark. We march as one and that's 1 mana. No, I made a 2 mana one. Boo. Well, that's too bad. Dang. If only if it copied that and we got another one mana shark, that would have been awesome. That's that's what I was hoping for whenever we whenever I uh, put it together. So I do like sap. So a cool thing about sapling toss is that we get to uh, we get to immediately with sapling toss go straight to combat. You know, like with you don't often get to go straight to combat with ephemerals, right? Like that's just not a very common thing. We actually get to go just straight to combat before they play stuff and bring back sharks. What a turn for them. <sighs> that just kills quick attack. Oh man. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The battle caster pumps us up to be four power. And then it also gets quick attack. Am I going to die? Man, another great turn for them. Not 
to you. For glory. Eat up, friend. That's not ideal. I wanted to do this turn. I will tend this garden. My shield is yours. This is just pretty, pretty awesome. Everything you know with all these two mana cards. It's... No. Taste the glory. Come on. Well, that was two games that I, I thought that we were going to be winning, <laughs> both of them, but uh, that one I just thought we were going to be winning early on because I thought we were going to have a real good hand, but man, that, that was pretty insane. Ouch. Okay. Misfortune Sejuani. So that's really... Re man, I... We probably don't need Fading Memories in the deck then if, if we don't get one mana Shark Chariot. That's... That was like the key to that card was being able to get one mana shark chariot. And if that's not a thing, then we probably don't need that card in the deck. Spores bug. Yeah, get get Omen Hawk. The dead don't need riches. See the Demastian border from here. Get bloody, get paid. It's not the worst thing to have vulnerable. So they would have been able to use the vulnerable to kill this thing anyway. I'm just gonna get a lot of damage in. All right, so we're gonna have Hecarim on five. It will be ephemeral, it will die, but then they who enter on six is gonna be huge. So we're gonna have a lot of things die between now and then. I guess our best card is probably Atrocity. Worst card to draw is probably Maokai. <laughs>
to pay up. It's another another great hand from the opponent though, right? Like they had um, you know, a bunch of one drops, a bunch of higher guns, a misfortune. Pretty nice looking hand over there. Okay, that's our best card. Can they deal with the 10 10? You can have my curse keeper. I'm fine with that. Obviously, need to do this before they play Sejuani. There we go. GG's. Hit him hard. And let the six drops take over. You know, let Hecarim do did a bunch of damage. And they who endure. Yeah, that would have been a problem if they had rally. That is true. That would have been a problem. Uh okay. Honored Relic, why are you coming back? I just got rid of you. Just got rid of you. I'm okay. We'll play that. I was gonna say I'm probably not playing. Like I'm not. Wasn't gonna just play any of these three right now. I like block. I always like blocking against Sejuani decks and not let them have. Um, not let them have something easy. Hmm. I'm through waiting. All right, found our six drops. Looks like we're probably going to have a lot of things die this turn. So we'll just have Maokai on turn. Um, we'll have Maokai uh, turn 5, and like, you know, Hecarim or Dehunter turn 6. <clears throat> so not quite level enough, Hecarim. Almost. I guess the Shadow Assassin does that. Thirteen. Hmm. 
Well, I can go for They Who Endure Atrocity. You know, play They Who Endure this turn. Try to Atrocity. Hope they don't have a Frostbite spell. They are Sejuani Ash. Uh... Other option, like this Hecarim's gonna level up, so it's gonna be a 7 7. If they weren't like a Frostbite deck, I'd probably, you know, I'd go this way, but unfortunately, I think they're a Frostbite deck. Don't have any sharks that I'm bringing back, am I? Bunch of five power stuff. Tread carefully. Grum does give us a whole bunch of five power stuff. It's too late for you. And damage, just take it. No, no frostbite. Just take it. Damage just like this, please. Okay. No frostbite. That's a good sign. Yeah, they're just left with this 3 3. I mean, could it, uh, you know, could it potentially have atrocity kill? They didn't have Frostbite last time. They could have... Uh, could have Deny. Um, is it better just to play a 16... Like, Obviously, it's the best thing to just Atrocity kill them if that would work out. But if, if, they, if they did just like draw a Frostbite or something, like that could... That could be... Um, a huge nightmare. If I go Stirred Spirits, I still have Atrocity available. Yeah, they could have, like, Brittle Steel. I don't think they can go too wide. Let's see, if I play this, I have four blockers. Four blockers is probably fine. This way it's four blockers also. I'm gonna play this and keep the atrocity available. Faster than my arrow? I think not. One out of five. Man, I wanna go for it. Why am I? Why do I want to go for it? We don't need to. I should have just played Dehu in there. I should have just played Dehu in there. I should just play that instead of the Stirred Spirits. Ah, they had it. Time is right. Strike now. Yep, they did have it. Me. So one mana short of double spelling. Ready. 
ready. So Hecarim would kill... Oh, it didn't didn't trigger, so they got an Ionia card on top. That could honestly be deny on top. It's probably deny or, or will of Ionia. It's probably one of those two. I'm including I'm including the units when I say double spell I'm, I'm including the units I mean I mean casting two things um, so like that that's what I mean by double spell even though I, I atrocity is my only spell in hand but I, I mean like just playing two things instead of just playing one thing a turn it's you know, generally better to, to try to be playing two things a turn than one um, um, Yeah, so again, okay, I talked about that earlier, but again, there's just a, a lot of cards that I want in certain scenarios, but I just don't want a whole bunch of them. Like, I don't really, like, Haunted Relic can be okay, but I don't want to just have a handful of Haunted Relics. That would that'd be horrible. It, so it, I, I can play one. That's fine. Um, you know, Sapling Toss is gives me a, a nice one-mana way to bring back Shark Chariot. Again, I just don't want a whole bunch of Sapling Tosses. It's not going to be that great, um, but it can be a, a really nice card. Um, to have at burst, you know, on your opponent's turn with your spell mana, which we don't have a lot of uses for spell mana, so have have this as a use for a spell mana that we get to just untap and sapling toss. You know, mark of the Isles, a nice little trick that can again we can use it proactively to to have shark chariots come back right away, um, turning something else into being ephemeral, and uh, you know, being a little pump spell there. But uh, again, I don't need a whole lot of mark mark of the Isles. You know, Ravenous Butcher is amazing with Curse Keeper, but it's not really that great with really hardly anything else in the deck to be honest um you know it's it's okay with omen hawk and stuff but it's not really that great but it it's just super it's super good with curse keeper so you know we just have one in there just you know just to have like that upside of having having it um i think one ofs are good i think one i think one ofs are are really underplayed um i think i think just having versatility in a game like this like where you have the um where you have the opportunity to mulligan different cards if you don't need them for the situation i think that's a, a good thing to have and so yeah we got a lot of a lot of different one-ups because there's there's um scenarios where all these cards can be awesome and there's uh, but they're not like cards that I, I want a whole bunch of um the Maybe you don't need the fading memories. That that was a card. This is like basically this lab. This was like the last card in here that you know thought about playing a whole bunch of different stuff. I kind of got an Avros. I didn't really plan on playing Avros in Century. I was kind of planning on playing like another Mark of the Isles, but after playing a couple of games before this, so I didn't really want two of those, and, and I just wanted another early thing. And you know, Century is just great. Um, I was happy with that Century, but uh, the fading memories. I was really, really hoping that we could go Islander on turn one. At turn on the shark chariot turn two, make a one mana shark chariot fading memories it create a copy of it and then play another one mana shark chariot i was really hoping we could do that but no it it makes the two mana shark chariot so that's kind of sad um so that could probably be uh something else you know maybe just another avaros and century you know something to block with it's always good to have to have something to block with um uh Maybe play like one Iron Harbinger as a three mana card to have a blocker. So it is a permanent buff. 
with the give Grammy plus one plus zero. I haven't been that big of a fan of this card, but I bet one could be just fine. But maybe that's it. Um, your biggest complaint is not fitting in Neverglade. Eh. I don't. I don't think Neverglade and Maokai work that well together, because they both kind of do the same thing. Of they're they're expensive and they sit in play, taking taking up valuable board presence in play, but you never have them in combat. And so it's really hard to have a four mana card where, that you never have in combat, then a five mana card that you never have in combat also, and it just takes up thirty. You know, those two cards that take up thirty three percent of your board. Um, it. It's tough. It's it's honestly really hard. I I just haven't had um, you know playing them before. I just haven't uh, haven't liked them together. I think you can kind of either have Neverglade or Maokai, but they they take up the same spot. Um, to be honest, and so yeah, like I just don't I just don't think that you can really fit in Neverglade here. Because uh, I think I think you just gotta have you gotta have just earlier stuff. You know, you just need a whole lot of cheap things. So you, you need to get ahead. You can't. This isn't really a deck that, that does well from behind. So you need to get ahead. You need to have a whole lot of cheap things. Um, try to get ahead, and then have like the saplings kind of control it, and have these cards win the game for you. No, I don't really like Avalanche. I yeah, I'm not a big fan of Avalanche. Could could be you could uh, we talked about could have ruin could have ruination instead of that fading memories. I like ruination more than Avalanche. Um, which that's not a bad card to have, uh, as we saw, you know, like opponents would, you know, put out a bunch of like three threes, five fives, like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think one ruination is honestly pretty good. Um, so that, that could, that could be the fading memories. Uh... You know, if, if we want to take that out, man, I was I was so hoping that we could have that copy and get another one mana shark chariot. Man, that would have been so great to have two shark chariots on turn two attacking. But yeah, pretty fun deck here. You get to do a lot of cool things. Um, I like it, and you know, if you don't really like the ruination, probably just get another Avarosen Sentry. Uh, that's probably the way to go, or a Iron Harbinger. Most of those games, if you kind of check, the, most of those games, we didn't really have anything to play on turn three. I wonder, so maybe we maybe you just want like one one of these, and it, it can kind of block. I don't know. I, got, I need to play this card more and just try it out more, I think. Uh, and the metagame, the metagame's not like burn heavy enough for Dark Water Scourge, and we're not playing Ionia, so you don't need the, you don't have the combo with it. No, I again, I don't. I would not recommend adding Neverglade Collector at all. Just don't. I would not recommend. I would. <laughs> yeah, I just. It's just too expensive. You already have a good amount of expensive stuff. You just don't. Just don't put more top end in. Honestly, I mean, I guess you. You could say Ruination's top end, but this is keep you from dying top end. It's not like aggressive. Like Neverglade isn't really like that. <clears throat> I just. I just spent. Yeah, Cabo. I just spent a while talking about why I don't like Neverglade. Um, all right but anyway uh bark beast could also play that could play brittle steel um you know could go another sapling toss another oblivious islander warden's praise not bad could get that thing in here again another century i would play stuff like that all right but anyway uh that's it here for hecarim endure so those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think about like this Maokai aggro deck. I know I have it labeled as Hecarim Endure, but it's basically a Maokai aggro. Hey, what's up, Mamba Man? Everybody from Mamba Man's uh, stream. Uh, we are... Uh, okay, yeah, you're just doing a project. Missed that. It's all good. Uh, we were just finishing up. We just got done playing Hecarim Endure, um, which is really just ephemeral aggro with Maokai. It went pretty well. Um, you know, pretty sweet deck here. Uh, but that's it here for Hecarim Endure. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you for the next video.